Hi guys, Mike Hayden from 24 Hour Solar Power here. We're just talking about our um, nickel iron batteries. Now this is probably one of the most common size systems that we sell for the DIY and also in home battery storage um, if you've got the grid connected. The 200 amp hour, so the battery rack comes in two different configurations. This is what I call the tall battery rack, and if you actually have a look at the picture here, um, that's our longer battery rack, which if you've got the space in the shed, both battery racks the exact same price, just takes a little bit more battery cable to get this one to work, it's designed for a bit more of a confined space. So these battery racks are made, this is five usable kilowatt hours, so it's a 24 volt, 200 amp hour nickel iron battery setup with five usable kilowatt hours in this battery rack. So if you wanted to go a 48 volt system, you could just get another 20 batteries and put it to the side. Um, and then that would give you 10 usable kilowatt hours from a 48 volt system. Um, 24 volts are a very common system that we do sell. Um, I highly recommend, if you're thinking about 12 volt, maybe go um, a smaller amp hour battery, like a 100 amp hour battery and go a 24 volt system rather than go a 12 volt system. Um, it all really depends on what you're going to run. If you're going to run 12 volt fridges, 12 volt lighting, you might be better off at 12 volt. If you're going to do everything through 240, I highly recommend step up to a 24 volt system. There, there's a limit basically up to about a 2000 watt inverter. Uh, 12 volt system is financially viable. Um, when you go above a 2000 watt inverter, um, you're basically going to spend more money on fuses and cabling and breakers and things like that. So are you better off if you're going to put a bigger than a 2000 watt inverter in to go up to a 24 volt system. And same thing when you get to about a 3000 watt inverter. If you're going to go a 3000 watt inverter, you're better off jumping up to a 48 volt system and maybe put smaller batteries in, having more cells and creating a 48 volt system. So um, with these battery racks, what a lot of people do, this is probably actually our most common system that we sell. And we normally sell it with um, 18 thin film solar panels uh, goes in the system with a 200 amp hour battery bank and a 3 kilowatt Victron inverter uh, for the 200 amp hour. Um, what people do if you want to grow the system is an extra 6 solar panels, so put about 24 thin film solar panels in your system on a 24 volt 3 kVA easy solar and a 200 watt amp hour batteries. So they upgrade an extra 6 solar panels, if you're going to upgrade the extra 6 solar panels you're better off putting 300 amp hour batteries in and actually putting that extra storage in because what happens, the more solar panels you get, there's a balance where you've got more usable energy of a day. Um, so if you want to put the smaller batteries in, that means you can just do more stuff of a day, but you're not going to have that battery storage to store that excess energy. So uh, it's a balance and really comes down to how you use your energy and understanding it. And that's why batteries are not simple. Uh, it's not there's one size fits all because everyone does things different. So the upgrades, I'd highly recommend if you're going to upgrade this system, this is our 24 volt easy solar 200 amp hour battery setup. And if you wanted some extra storage, you can put in a 300 amp hour batteries, the exact same rack, the batteries are just a bit taller, and add an extra six solar panels to the system and you'll get a really good sized system. And saying that, this system here, um, it will give you the ability to run a washing machine, um, run a TV, a good decent sized fridge, about a 440 litre fridge. Um, you can run from this system, you can run your blenders, you can run your um, juices, all that sort of stuff. Um, you can run a dishwasher. Um, I run at my house in Sydney, the, a three kilowatt inverter, and basically we charge my electric motorcycle from that same inverter, which is the same size inverter in this system. You can get away with it if you're willing to run things at different times. So a 24 volt setup is a really good size setup with a 3 kVA inverter. If you're looking for a bigger load, you're better off going a 48 volt system if you're gonna run a 5 kVA inverter. So that, that, that's our setup, our 24 volt easy solar setup, 200 amp hour. Any inquiries or questions guys, give the office a call on 1300 244 251. That's 1300 244 251. One of the guys in the office have a chat with you. Or if you're around the Lismore area, we're based in Lismore, come in and actually check out our shop and have a, have a conversation with one of the guys here in the office about what we can do to put your battery storage in, in your home. We have installers all over Australia, so if you do want help, help installing it, we can help. But we also do a lot of pre-wired systems we can send out to pre-wire 
um, to make your life as easy as possible to install this. We do support a lot of people around Australia with DIY installation. So thanks for watching and get in contact.